And Jake had already searched the place, to no avail. But a good detective would have better luck. Knock first. I know it might not seem like oh. it. Oh. Oh. My dude. When someone hits you like that, you know you're onto something. It's only fair to show some gratitude then. Oh god. Ouch. In the novels. <laughs> I wasn't fast enough, I guess. When someone hits you like that, you know you're onto something. It's only fair to show some gratitude. Well, well, well. Long time no see. Oh, how the tables turn. You helped me, so I'll help you. Now leave before my partner. Damn cat. Well done, Colbert. The same rhino, dude. Now. <laughs> How about this? For every wrong answer, I'm going to give it to you with this club. Deal? Hey, couldn't we just talk, talk it, it out? out? Wrong answer. Ah, oh, come on, man. First, well, second question. What the hell are you doing here? I'll confer. Ah, oh, let's do this first. Okay. So he got two items. We can zoom in on. Okay. First one's this. A shamrock? Is he Irish? Okay, that's one. There's something on his shoulder, it looks like, maybe. His eyes? What is it? It should start to swell any moment now. Oh, that. <laughs> Anything else? I think that's it. For him, at least. Now, where were we? What the hell are you doing here? You Irish? Are you of Irish descent? I've got an Irish boss, just like my friend Colbert here. I'm sure the name O'Leary rings a bell, O'Leary. Right? Buffalo There's works for O'Leary. If you live in New York City, You've certainly heard of the richest bookie in town. After everything interesting, happened, I was beginning to feel like this case was Eugene Colbert. Forward. Wrong answer. Oh, but I was wrong. Ouch. All righty, let's try again. What the hell are you doing here? I'm a private eye. Sonia Dunn hired me to find Bobby Yale. I hate detectives. What? Seriously, what the hell are you doing here? I know your friend Colbert and his wife. Now he wants to insult you. All right, then. He's all yours. Oh, God. Uh, all right. Wrong answer. Now it's your turn. I'll call the boss. Wait, what's that? It achievement. Take your second beating. I want you to yell like I'm beating the crap out of you, okay? Alright. Desmond, we caught some damn detective snooping around Bobby Yale's place. Yeah, hired by Dunn's daughter. Safe and sound? What do you mean exactly? Hmm. Oh, sure. Will do. Colbert! Stop hitting him, you beast. What a shame. We were just getting to know each other. <laughs> Desmond O'Leary's men's yells apartment. 
Okay, so they guard his. Huh. What's he got in connection to Mr. O'Leary, eh? Somebody's boxing. Who's here? Who's that? That's a gorilla. Hey, you're upstairs. Thanks, pal. So, what else can you tell me about Dunn's death? Well, not much. My memory's not what it used to be. you done. What was Joe Dunn like? Uh, he was a decent man. Have you seen all those slogans on the wall? Those motivational phrases? Joe really believed in them. All of them. Yeah, he seems like the dude. Joe call Dunn? Him Joe or or Dunn? Joey Dunn? Huh? Uh, nobody called him Joey. Well, maybe his wife. Although, she didn't call him anything after she died. <laughs> That's <laughs> stupid. He played the saxophone, right? Yeah, pretty well for a white boy. But he quit when his wife died. Makes no sense, right? I mean, nothing draws chicks like the brass. Why quit when you're finally free? <laughs> Dunn wasn't black, but he allowed you and Bobby Yale to train here. Yeah. This was the first integrated gym in the city, I think. But not everyone liked that, hmm? You've seen the graffitis, right? If I get my hands on that bastard... Do you have any idea where Bobby Yale could be? Not a clue. I dropped by Bobby Yale's apartment. I think he might be involved with O'Leary, the bookmaker. Uh, you sure? Yale had some dark years, no doubt, but Dunn turned him into a decent guy. I'm no detective. Taking Yale killed Dunn? But I wouldn't follow that lead. Do you know any of his relatives? His, his father, Ev, uh, Ev, uh, Avenarius. Avenarius? Avenarius? Bobby Yale? Didn't he disappear 20 years ago? Yeah, and his wife, Bobby's mom, died shortly a a after. Dunn is the closest thing the family the poor kids had ever since. See you later, Clay. All right, Chairman, I appreciate you stopping by, man. Have a good one. If Yale's going to fight the reigning champion, he's got a big career ahead of him. He hasn't lost a single fight since he turned pro. The little bastard beat the socks off me a few years back. Asked. You said Yale joined a gang back in the day? Know which one? Hell, I don't know, John. This is New York City. They have more gangs than people. <laughs> All right, Sonia Dunn. What can you tell me about Sonia Dunn? She's hot, ain't she? <laughs> <laughs> Jake and Sonia, more than friends, seem to get along. You two seem to get along nicely. Well, I've known it since she was a baby, but she sure has grown, uh, if you get my drift. <laughs> I hadn't seen her since she left for college about four years ago. Doesn't seem too upset. It seems like her father's death didn't really upset her. Well, she likes to play it cool, which makes her really hot. <laughs> That's a little cheesy. That's all right. I better let you get back to your drills. All right. All right, let's try breaking in this thing. A bunch of papers. There's a book. Oh, and other poems. Abram Greenberg. What's the top one? Yo's locker is full of surprises. 
Very own portable gym, up to five resistance springs. Oh, that's what we found out back. So that means it had to have been Yell, the chest expander thing. And there's the resistance. So that means he was the... Uh, he was one of the five people, or the four people, that came here the night before. Who's collected allow a new deduction? F2. Whoa. Uh, Yell's locker full of surprises. And someone threw a chest expander in the trash. Well, I know this much. The chest expander in the trash belongs to Yale. Yell kill done with the chest expander. I don't know all about that, but sure. Chest expander belongs to Yale. Okay. Let's see if we can go chat with her this time. Hey. Miss Dunn, can I run a couple of questions by you? If they help you find Yale, go ahead. Let's uh, do this first. Okay, so we can hear something. Well, you can see her eyes. Big, bright eyes. Looks well rested. Neither she didn't mourn her father, or she really knows how to work that makeup. Cold as ice. She's as cold as ice. You can nice hear. And steady heartbeat. Whoa. Like x ray vision, man. And there's something over here. What the? What's wrong? Someone's taking pictures from the rooftop. Are you sure? I'll go take a look. Oh, we didn't even get to ask her any questions. Now, who's that rope for, Miss? Is that Weekly? <clears throat> weekly. Yeah. Weekly, the busybody. Uh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa! Uh, 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 what the hell are you doing here? Oh God, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> hey, hey, look! Isn't that Cassidy? <laughs> Whoa. Don't change the subject, you sad little... Why don't we settle this over ice cream, huh, John? Just like in the good old days. <laughs> How did you get up here? I don't want anyone to see you. Back over there. Can't compromise our mission, man. Everyone, even the most hapless of creatures, has a gift. Something that makes them special, that makes them worth knowing. Foul smelling weekly is no exception. No matter what he does, it's impossible to stay mad at him for too long. Mmm. Ah, this bourbon shake is delicious. Want a taste? You know I don't like milk. Your loss. So, Joe Dunn hangs himself and leaves his gym to his daughter, which makes her the first woman to run a boxing gym, I think. Question is why. The real why? question is, why did he commit suicide? Well, it's pretty obvious. Is that so? Care to shed some light on this, Sherlock? Well, there's no need to look for reasons. People hang themselves every day out of sadness. And stuff like that. End of story. And money troubles? Everyone knows that Jim had some serious money issues. Maybe he just got tired of fighting. Yeah, but he has all this... Those notes. He was way well, too positive. Really it's just a hunch. I wouldn't bet my life on it. I've got other suspects. Like O'Leary, the bookmaker. Desmond O'Leary? The same O'Leary who used to date Helen Moore? 
America's sweetheart? Now that's a woman. And then there's the Walrus. Who was that guy? Uh, come on. You've never heard of Frank Cassidy? Wow. The president of the Boxing Managers Association? Who's also Stone's agent, Bobby Yale's rival. Frank Cassidy runs the BMA. You might know why Dunn killed himself, right? I decided to ask Weekly to investigate Cassidy. My reasons? Keep Weekly entertained, get real information on Cassidy. Weekly was right. Cassidy could have known why Dunn killed himself. Weekly had already proven to be nosy. The farther I kept him from the gym, the better. But with Weekly, you just never know what the best approach might be. Should I give him an order? Or a subtle suggestion? Suggestion? Yeah, you might be right about Cassidy. But, hmm, it won't be easy to make him talk. He seems like a pretty tough cookie. Only a thorough and efficient detective could pull it off. But the problem is, I already got enough on my plate. You're a lucky man, John Black said. I don't follow. You just found the thorough detective you need. <laughs> oh, of course. What a great idea. How did I not think of you? Hey, don't sweat it. But you'll have to do me a favor. Oh, God. Tell Sonya Dunn that a legendary journalist from What's News wants an interview. Weekly, please. Well, if not, bye-bye, Cassidy. All right. All right. I'll see what I can do. Great. That's settled then. By the way, I never told you what happened to Colbert, did I? No. What happened? The rhinoceros came by and offered me money to keep quiet. Wow. Are we talking petty cash or big bucks? The latter. That's my boy. Good job, Black Sad. Your boy Black Sad didn't take the money. What? Listen, weekly. Yeah, I know. Not everybody's it money is right good money. Yada, yada, yada. <laughs> he chose to tell weekly the ugly truth. That's not that ugly of a truth, though. So, was there really someone on the roof? Yeah, ran away. Yeah, but he was faster than me. I couldn't get my hands on him. A fast spy and a slow detective. This must be my lucky day. <laughs> All right, so try this one. Dunn kept files on the gym's staff and clients. Name, address, and date of birth. There are cards with staff information, information on the Dunn's table. Interesting. Alright. I... Uh, what is Walrus Cassidy doing here? I saw here? you arguing with a guy named Cassidy. What did he want? Uh, remember the fight that needs to take place in order to save this gym? Well, Cassidy manages Yale's rival, Stone. The reigning champion. If Bobby doesn't show up, he'll lose money. Maybe not a lot, but enough to care. Did you find anything interesting in those papers? No. Investigation work takes time, as I'm sure you know. Did you find anything interesting in those papers? No. Investigation work takes time, as I'm sure you know. Not helping with anything. I'd like to take a look inside that safe now. Could you give me the combination? I'd love to help you, but my mother's birthday used to be the combination, but I already tried it. Hmm. Wrong password. A happy family? Another card. Let's see. We can try. You Sonya's date Could of birth? Tell me your birthday. Of course. March 6th. And 
the year? I'm 24, Mr. Blacksad. You do the math. What? No luck. Okay. Another wrong password. Can we enter that, like, mode at any time? Okay. Ah, so this gives us all the notes about each person. That's pretty cool. Sonia, Joe, Mark, Weekly, Desmond O'Leary, Frank Cassidy. Okay, I got it. Now it's F1. F1 is how you enter that. Okay. Put it out here. I'm going to check this real quick. Looks like Dunn liked to measure his daughter and Bobby Yeo each year. Sonia's measurements stop at 18, and there's a gap in Bobby's between ages 15 and 17. Hmm. I remember that fight, back when Jake was coming up the ranks. Jake Young. Talent in boxing. Hmm. Not exactly sure where to go. can check this thing again, but we already got everything from that. Oh, wait, there's some blockers. Mike Butler. Arthur Tucker. Whoa. Smells like paint. Stained towel in Arthur's locker. Nation strike again. Let's see for the by the white race ones. Arctic Nation. So they're like the KKK. Leaders of the radical organization stand by Arthur Tucker, dog kneeling. Mr. Tucker, an amateur boxer, allegedly broke a police officer's jaw. Bastards. The proud South. Hmm. Interesting. Blues collected. All right, what we got? Maybe this. Arthur Tucker painted the racial slur on Yale's locker. Oh, okay. Empty. Of course. Do we have any more questions to ask him? Not all folks are as open-minded as Dunn. I happen to know who painted the lockers. Arthur Tucker. I knew it! I knew it was him, that bastard. I'm gonna whip the white out of him. <laughs> right, I guess we can go outside again. Wait, what's this? For Sonia Dunn. Thank you, Mr. Blacksad. Does the postman always leave your mail on the floor? I don't know. I... I... What's wrong? It's... 
It's my mother's wedding ring. Dunn's wife's wedding ring was in the envelope for Sonya's na name handwritten on it. Who had it? Who had it? I don't know. My father wore it on his pinky finger after she died. Not always, apparently. Will you find out why? I'll try. But there's something else I'm worried about. This might have something to do with the... Uh... Your father's death and Bobby Yale's disappearance. Oh. Oh my, yes. It could be. Will you please give me a moment? Of course. How long of a moment, though? Who's allowed? Okay. Your deductions? Let's see. There's something fishy about that. Dunn's birthday doesn't seem to open. Paint can in the trash. Chest expander. Anything was in it. What about this? And hey, hmm. were Mary Purnell and Joe Dunn an item? Mary and Joey were seeing each other. Blues collected allow new deduction. What else? Don't no, we're seeing each other? Weekly took very no. Son's wife's birthday doesn't open up the safe. What if it's her birthday? Hmm. What if Mary's birthday is the combination to the safe? Mary had Dunn's wife's wedding ring. Okay. Well, now we need it. the clues collected amount. Okay. Let's find out. I uh, might open the safe. Do we know her birthday? Oh, there's cards on the... Ah. Right, right. On his birthday, that might open the safe on the card on Dunn's desk. Uh oh, she might say, give me a moment. Yes? Feeling any better? Yeah, I guess. Thanks. Always. And there it was. Mary's birthday. A week prior to that very day. Ah. Okay. Let me ask Did your you question. Did you find anything interesting in those papers? No. Investigation work takes time, as I'm sure you know. Uh, let's try opening it with Mary's birthday. Why? It's got to be it. Yeah. Oh, that. All right. Right password. Business insurance policy. Hmm. Is it a gun? I never would have taken Dunn for a gun owner. Last will and testament of Joseph are done. Uh, okay. You open the safe? Yeah, and I think you need to see this. Can you tell me what it says? All right. I think this might be useful for the investigation, Mr. Detective. He left everything to me, except some boxing trophies and knickknacks that'll go to Bobby Yale. Do you think Bobby Yale read it before he disappeared? Maybe. When was it signed? When was it signed? It was written four years ago, just weeks after I moved to Buffalo. Huh. Congratulations. You're one lucky lady. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. 
Oh. I had a feeling. Thanks. But I uh, wasn't supposed to say that. A few bucks. Just petty cash. Okay. It's everything there. Did you find any information? Let's see, is there anything new? Nah, it doesn't look like it. Well, we can ask her some other questions. This is Interview with Wheatley. He's a journalist, and uh, the thing is, well, uh, he would like to interview you. Why? A woman running a boxing gym? That's quite the story. And how did this friend of yours find out, exactly? These things just end up leaking to the press. Well, you know how these things... I don't even want to hear you. Oh, I just hope you prove your professional worth before the day is over. I think I know who had your mother's ring. You do? Mary Purnell. I think she was in love with your father. Thank you. Thank you. Uh oh. Did you and your father get along? Let's just say our relationship got better when I left for Sunny University. An eight hour drive from here. Meaning? I'll lay it out for you, Mr. Blacksad. My father, Joe Dunn, disappeared the day my mother died. He became a shell of himself. Joe Dunn, my legal guardian. A man who gave me food, shelter, clothing, and an education. And that's more than you need to know. Hmm. Listen, I'm trying to help here. Yeah, but there's documents. What's in those papers you're going through? Red tape. Great. If you find something, please let me know. I thought you were the detective. You do your job, and I'll do mine. Why did she even hire me if she just can't complain? What can you tell me about Jake? I thought you were friends. Guess I was wrong. He and my father were friends, so don't go down that road. Can you tell me about the gym's insurance? I never asked about the gym's insurance. That's exactly what I'm reading now. So far, it looks like your standard small business policy. Did you find anything interesting in those papers? No. Investigation work takes time, as I'm sure you know. Did you find anything interesting in those papers? No. Investigation work takes time, as I'm sure you know. Okay. This is not being very helpful. We can go chat with that dude in the back, actually. I wish he could sprint. <laughs> He's a little bit slow. Hey, dude. Do you remember anything else about the day you found the thingamajig with the springs and the paint can? Yeah, uh, no. <coughs> wait, 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 yeah. Well, no, now that I think of it, uh, no. <laughs> hey, pal, how about thanking a good-looking goat with a cigarette? <coughs> <coughs> That's what you need. <laughs> of course. Here you go. Yeah, 
you think you're not responsible for my pathetic state? Of course not. Think you're not to blame? It's but the government shipped me off to war. They shipped me off too. Oh, right. So then you know what it's like to kill too. Well, then another sad hobo shouldn't be a problem for you, Professor. I'd rather not talk about it. Okay, okay, I understand. Wait, wait, but uh, that's not what I wanted to say. Oh, well, you know we goats tend to jump from one thing to another. The government paid for everything. <laughs> what is this? Army fatigues, rations, weapons, <laughs> lodging, and hookers, drugs. <clears throat> Do you know where that money comes from? <laughs> the taxes! Your taxes, my dear friend. You help them cut this my leg. This goat is something, <laughs> off. something else. They declare war. War. Every chance they get so that the weapon industry that finances their campaigns get, gets richer and, and richer and richer and richer. And that's how we finance their wars. So the slightest connection with corruption turns us into accomplices. Unless one manages to keep at arm's length. That is what I did, my loyal disciple. At the Million Star Hotel! <laughs> <laughs> so, do you like your master, the Great? Hey, what's your name? You never told me... And he fell asleep. Nice. All right, let's see if we can go chat with uh, uh, Miss Purnell. See if she has any information. Oh wait, there's a letter here. Close due to sudden and unexpected death of Joseph R. Dunn. Private service for family and f friends will be held in St. Fergus on October 14th. That's my birthday <laughs> at 6 p.m. Huh. That's funny. Go to Sam's Diner. Alright, one sec. Uh, I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick.